everybody thanks for watching this is going to be andrew versus landon at the round of 64 in the 2019 long beach match play really fun video on deck here i think you're gonna like a lot i brought up the nice camera as well and i think it makes a big difference the 824 starting time and from cyprus landon ball Okay, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll recognize both of these guys from being on vlogs with me here in Long Beach. Here's Landon, who was on, I think last, maybe two years ago, and he's about a foot taller now. And he hit just a great drive down the center of the fairway. This is like a 370, 360 yard, something like that. From here, about 360, I think. Yard par four, dog leg left. So you want to aim just to the, to the right or just over that tree that sticks out from the left side. And here's Andrew Fernandez, who's been on the channel a lot, good friend of mine, and he hit a a good shot just to the right of where Landon's ball was. Landon went a little further. He's to the left of where Andrew is now, with a wedge about with the blue pin, 107 yards or so. So Andrew hit it solidly, but it did go a little bit to the left and long and then spun backwards and he'll have about 12 feet. Landon hit it thin and blocked it to the right into this bunker. This is the first time Landon's ever played match play at all. So he wasn't even sure how to keep the scorecard really correctly. So this was an experience he was really looking forward to. He got out of the bunker to the fringe there. Here's Andrew for birdie. Little bit of a bump there, but also you'd have to say an under read as well. So it's not conceded though, and here is Landon for his par. Ah, the slow low side lip out. So that's a five on the card for Landon. And Andrew has this to clean up his par and go one up in the match. Which he does. So moving on to the second hole, which is like 335 yards. It kind of pinches in right around 270 or so, 280. But Andrew doesn't hit a good shot here. A little bit of a smother hook. Onto the other side of the car path. He's kind of in jail there. Not a good shot there. Andrew's one up at the moment. Here is Landon with driver. That's a solid block at that bunker that you can see on the right hand side. So Landon's over there. He's in that bunker as he's lasering it. And Andrew playing uh, his caddy there. Johnny is a, uh, a very good golfer in his own right. Really good. One of the best in the area. And Andrew pitches out and he'll have that for his third shot. Yeah, Johnny's finished second in this tournament two or three times, I think. Landon hit it, pitched it up out of the fairway bunker to that point. Here's Andrew his third shot from, it's much more below the green than it looks there. Great impact, great landing spot, and makes it for a three. So that's a birdie three for Andrew. And now this puts the pressure right on Landon because he's going to have to make that just to tie the hole. He doesn't make it. He comes up a little short. So Andrew goes two up after two holes. So this par three is, I think, about 162 yards. Looks like a nine iron for Andrew. Puts it way up in the air. It lands on a bit of a firm spot and rolls uh, just past the green onto that back fringe. And he'll have a downhill putt from there. Again, Landon hits this similar shot that he hit as his approach on the first hole and hits 
I guess what you would call a thin block to the bunkers to the right of the green. So these bunkers are very difficult. It's a it's kind of a gritty style native sand. So they're not easy. And uh, Landon's first attempt doesn't get out of the bunker. Or his second. Just having a real difficult time here. Not sure if it's if it's nerves or just not being used to that kind of sand. I know he plays over at Skylinks in this area more, which is a different type. Andrew, that was his bid for birdie, so he'll have that for his par, which is conceded. So go, moving on to the fourth hole, which is a par five. I think from up here is only like 520 or something like that or, or less. He hits a, a really good drive. Right down the middle of this dogleg right. And here is Landon. It's a fairly solid drive down the left-hand side. Love having this camera because you can zoom in. You can see everything with it. Um, it's uh, And also, it has a kind of like a optical image stabilization, which is really important. There is a approach shot for Landon actually kind of a layup I don't think he I don't know if he was fully going for it not the best contact but he's in a pretty good spot and here's Andrew solid contact just blocks it to the right over the bunker though that you see on the right side he'll be about pin high and on this co golf course and a lot of golf courses being pin high is not bad at all Landon has a very good pitch shot, gets a bit of a soft landing and comes up short. Here's Andrew. Watch the rock forward before he takes it back. That really gets him in good rhythm for these pitch shots. But I think he got more loft on that than he was expecting. So he's sitting about 20 feet away. Here's Landon from about 20, I'd say 27 feet or so, nine steps. For his birdie four, what a great putting stroke. And puts it in. So that is a four for Landon. And here's Andrew to match with his own four on this par five. Never liked it. The bad kind of early walk. So Andrew is now two up. I missed the tee shot of the next hole. Landon did hit a good tee shot, but into that area that was... Kind of probably under repair, but not not circled or identified as such. And had a it was half in a hole and hit another thin block to the right into a bunker. Andrew hit a very good wedge shot. I know that he had seen uh, some video that I took of him on the course before and put up on Be Better Golf and made a slight adjustment to his alignment on his wedge shot. So I know that's something the guys on tour do all the time. They, they watch the telecast to see where the pinhole hole locations are and how the other guys are playing. And they also watch themselves if they were on there to see if they can see anything. Especially because if they see themselves, it means they're usually playing pretty good. So that, there, that was Landon for his par. This is Andrew for his birdie. And to get back up to three up. He misses that, but it's conceded and... That's three up for Andrew going into the fifth hole, excuse me, sixth hole, which is, this is, uh, this can cause a lot of problems for this hole because of the, there's quite a thick wooded area to the right there that people can go into. But if you drive it right at that tree and not, not too long, but on a day like this, you won't really be able to get it too long towards that tree that's right in the fairway. So Andrew hit a very good drive, and Landon did as well. Landon's in the, the rough there, and just got under it a little bit, and uh, did not hit a solid shot. So he comes up short. Andrew with another wedge that is just on a great line. This time, though, he landed it a little short and spun it back even further. So he's quite a ways from the hole. Here's Landon pitching from the fairway. 
the golf course if you're in the area is just in an amazing condition right now really good and i expect it to be good all the way through the whole summer until uh past the long beach open which is in july so it's a treat to have around here the greens are in great shape too here's andrew for his birdie his speed was very good both in the qualifying and uh, this day so far so here's landon after a good pitch he's gonna try to make this for his four because if he misses it, he'll slip to four down. One of the strengths of Landon's game is putting. He does have a, a really great putting stroke. Wow, dead center of the hole. That was really good. So the hole is halved with four. We move on to the par five, seventh hole. Here's Andrew's tee shot, which is... A little to the right. It's right of those bunkers, right of the fairway, at the base of this uh, thick tree that's out there. Landon hit his down the right center of the fairway. Did not go that far, so this is this is laid well back for Landon. There's a, a couple of members of Landon's family that came out to watch. First time Landon's ever really played against college golfers. So I know he was uh, looking at this as a great learning experience, trying to win, but looking at it as a great learning experience as well. Andrew going for the green there, maybe a questionable decision. Watch the water. That's a splash. Probably was a good decision to to hit hybrid there and go for the green. It's just, uh, I don't know what his lie was like, but he told me later that it just, he hit it like he wanted to. It just just squirted right, started right. Landon with a great tempoed wedge shot and hits it to about two and a half feet for his birdie. Here's Andrew after taking a drop and walking significantly back, keeping the entry point between himself and the flag. And hits it a pin high, and I'll have this, I would, what would you call it, about eight footer, nine footer? To save his par, that's Landon's mark in close on the left-hand side. That's a bogey for Andrew, and he picks up Landon's mark, and Landon takes it to two down now. So Landon's two down now, Andrew's two up. We go to the difficult eighth hole. This hole always is either the most difficult or second most difficult on the course, and any tournament that's played here. Landon's second shot in. He hits a solid shot. He had to play it to the right of a tree that was there. And he's about pin high. He's in a good spot from there. But he's uh, off the green. Andrew hit a just a pool. I mean, it was just a straight pool shot there. Pin high to the left of the green on the fringe. So here is Landon, whose ball landed up on that hill, rolled back to this spot. Yeah. Yeah, Landon's away, so he'll go first. So. Puts good contact into it. Just lands it a little far, so he'll have that about seven footer for his par. Here's Andrew for his birdie from the fringe. Just on the other side of Andrew as well is water. So it's a little scary with it when that pool was in the air. Andrew hits it on the low side, which makes that run out even further. So Andrew's away now. Or Andrew's just only a little bit closer, but here's Landon again with it, just really fighting back to keep this match somewhat within range with his great putting. So here is Andrew for his part four. And really, if he doesn't make this and this goes to just one up, it's like it'd be a crazy feeling. But great tempo back end through with that putt. And makes it. So Andrew remains two up going into the 195 yard par three ninth hole. 
Landon starting to make a little bit better contact. Hits that pin high to the right of the green, which is a popular place. Anytime you come play golf out here and Andrew goes to the same spot. So Landon's just a little bit short right and Andrew is... See, that's Landon's ball to the left. So here's Andrew chipping for his second shot. Again, just great impact and great location to land it. And chips in again for the second time this nine holes. Andrew chips in for birdie. So Landon's going to have to make this to tie Andrew just on this hole and avoid going three down. But it comes up short. So Andrew's now three up after the turn, going to the 10th hole. A long par five. Andrew just hit a huge drive here. Right down the center, a little bit left to center, right in the fairway. And Landon hits a decent drive here, a cut. And then I had to leave to go to work, to go to real work. And got a report about it that Andrew did win this match. Seven and five, he went on to win a, a few of the next holes. And one seven and five he'll advance to the round of 32 i was talking to landon's family and i think hopefully landon got even more out of this match than andrew did because i think it's going to be really a great learning experience for him as a young golfer he's really going to go on to great things because he's got a great passion for the game so thanks to both of these guys for letting be better golf into their match and i hope to catch more action from this tournament later as we watch andrew advance through the tournament so subscribe and stay tuned to that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.